Just wait till you see all the treasures the beach holds. Waves and Currents by Wanda In many places, a current of water moves along the beach. This is called a longshore current because it moves along the shore. Swimmers and things washed into the water move down the shore with the current. The longshore current also moves lots of sand. That's why a beach is sometimes called a river of sand. Riptides actually don't have a thing to do with tides. They're caused when water in the longshore current breaks away and speeds back towards the ocean. If you ever get caught in a riptide, just swim along the shore and soon you'll be through it. When the wind moves across water, it makes waves. If the wind blows fast for a long time, the waves get really big. Then when a wave comes near the shore, the bottom of it drags on the sand and the top falls forward and it breaks. That's when we see the white foam near the shore. What are you clicking on me for? If you want to learn some more fun facts about the ocean, click on the pictures and I'll tell you all I know. If all the oceans evaporated, Mauna Kea, found in Hawaii, would be the tallest mountain in the world. Of course, the fish wouldn't be too happy about it. The giant squid, which can reach a length of over 45 feet, feeds by seizing its prey with its two club-shaped tentacles, which pass it back to its eight arms. Then, its powerful beak-like jaws tear the animal apart. Hasta la vista, fishy. Flatfish, like flounders, sole, and halibut, start their lives looking like other kinds of fish. But as they grow, their bodies flatten out so that one side becomes the bottom, with the eye on the other side moving to the top of the side to join the other one. I guess you could say they're flat-out funny-looking. The deepest place on Earth is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. It's over 36,000 feet deep. If you were to drop a steel ball into it, it would take over an hour to drop to the bottom. I hope I don't drop the keys to the bus. the deep ocean. Your assignment is to use your arrow keys to guide Luminessa, the luminescent flashlight fish, through the dark. Look for friends and treats, but beware of her enemies. Friends and enemies.
Congrats! You won a fish card! Dangerous waters! Do you really want to stop playing? I think that was great! Hope you play again! Deeper you go in the ocean, the darker and colder it gets. Brr. Hey Wanda, don't wander too far down. It's almost pitch black and freezing at the bottom. Look! My data indicates that this is a region where water temperatures fall rapidly, and not much sunlight penetrates. Thanks, DA. That's very enlightening. A lot of animals down here get their food by waiting for it to sink from above. That must make life pretty hard. The stuff on the ocean floor can be 900 feet deep and millions of years old. It's very interesting to muse on the ooze. Hey look! A fish that sheds some light on the subject of the deep. That's a lanternfish. Its photophores help to break up its dark silhouette, so predators can't see it from below. Cool. Some food from above for the bottom dweller. That hagfish will bore into the body of the dead fish. Now the intestines first, then eat the meat. I'll at least behind the skin and bones. Yuck! Remind me not to invite him over to dinner. We can have a heap of fun in the deep.